Hi babe, I hope you're doing absolutely fantastic. Today I'm bringing you guys a protein only wash day. Now, as always, my wash day is well, for the most part. <laughs> I start with a pre poo and today was nothing different. So I used coconut oil and then I used extra virgin olive oil. So about maybe two to three teaspoons of each. And then I heated up in hot boiling water so this is boiling water that i'm putting in one container and then i let the container with the oil sit inside let everything melt and get nice and warm and then we are going to move on to the application now my hair was actually quite dirty but i was feeling a bit moisturized but a bit too moisturized for my liking it was i'm starting to feel a little bit limp and so that's why I decided to do a protein only wash day. So I didn't add any moisture after my protein deep conditioner. So then moving on to my um, pre poo application. So I start off by squeezing it um, directly onto my scalp and then I squeeze some into the palm of my hands and then um, work it through the uh, shaft and the strands of my hair. So then I am then going to braid it. So I'm going to be working in four sections and I'm going to keep them all throughout. You guys will see I'm going to keep these um, sections. But basically you braid them and then you tie them with a hair tie. I just try to avoid by all means to use an elastic tie. So this is one of those fabric ties that i used i just felt like it worked it works a little bit better it's easier to remove now i am just squeezing it onto this my scalp and then i'm um, giving it a massage i just wanted that feeling of a massage now i'm using the my fingertips and i'm not being rough with it it's sped up so it might look like it's rough but it's really not going into the shower i'm just getting my hair wet and then i'm going to be using the organics shampoo i will put the name onto um the screen just now but i use quite a decent size amount the first time i just felt like it wasn't enough and you guys will see the first um time that i went in it wasn't lathering pretty well and that just told me how much um build up i actually had in my hair now this is a clarifying shampoo and i wanted to just get rid of everything i had been using gels and other things um to style my hair so it really needed a good cleanse so i'm then going in with my scalp massager um, i'm going in circles you basically place it on your scalp and then move it in circles so I hope that makes sense <laughs> but um, I'm just uh, massaging it through working it through my hair and then I am going to go in again um, at the back as well um, making sure that I'm you know going through the hair and working the shampoo through my scalp so I'm now just going to rinse this um off very well and then i'm going to go in again with more shampoo now this is my second round of shampoo it was the same amount of um shampoo but you guys will see that this time it's going to it's going to lather up very very well um, i'm gonna have a really nice lather and it's just telling me that you know what we're getting there like your hair is getting a bit clean and i like that no one hates clean hair so i'm going back in with the scalp massager once again as you as you guys can see it lathered up so well so beautifully and it did not dry my hair at all you guys will see throughout um this video my hair was not dry at any point or tangled at any point or matted at any point so i really really enjoy um the shampoo as a clarifying shampoo so after um my shower i basically just use a t-shirt to dry my hair you guys use your anc t-shirts to sleep i use mine to towel dry okay <laughs> so um i'm going to go in with this ko mask now this is a protein mask it has quite a lot of protein and um, it was one of the few masks that i've found that i felt like um, work very well as a protein deep conditioner now i am just going through it i'm applying it onto you know my scalp and then working it through the braid so because i am working in sections i am 
trying my best to make sure that every single section is saturated at the bottom and um, at the braid I don't want to ne neglect anything and you guys will see I then take more conditioner work it through the braid and um, my ends making sure that everything is nice and saturated So then I'm going to go in with a plastic bag and I'm going to cover my hair. So I've now placed it in bantu knots and then I'm just going to take a plastic bag. I'm going to use my hooded dryer. You guys know the drill. This is from Klex for anyone who want, who's interested in it. And then I'm using my Ebony by Carbon um, Carmen hair dryer. And I'm just going to chill like this for about 15 minutes. And then back to the shower we go. I'm going to take out... Um, the hair ties for every section. I'm just gonna take out the hair ties first and then I am going to undo the braids and um, Just carefully undo them and you guys will see like my hair was soft. There were barely any tangles combing it through was a breeze and I just love how this deep conditioner gave me that extra strength that I needed and um, my hair wasn't feeling so um, mushy anymore and it felt just right. So I am then going to go and rinse this off. Hopping out the shower, once again, I am going to t-shirt dry. This is another t-shirt, so I have two of these t-shirts. And I'm going to t-shirt dry. We're going to go in with the Cream of Nature Argan Oil 7-in-1 Leave-In. And this functions as a leave-in as well as a heat protectant. So it's like two birds, seven birds with one stone, really, um, because it has that many uses. I am then going to detangle once again, just before I hair dry. And as you guys can see, it's very easy to detangle. I had no um, significant knots or tangles in my hair. Going in with the um, brush attachment, the comb attachment on my ebony hair dryer. This comes standard with the hair dryer, and that's why I am so obsessed with this hair dryer. Like, this is, is one of the best things so whether you have relaxed hair or um, you have natural hair if you are interested in um, using heat on your hair I love this so much so I'm just going to work it through my hair and I don't use high heat so the heat was pretty much on low and then I'm going in with my S curl no drip um spray and this is just a moisturizer that i like to use as well as avocado oil i put it in this container it's just easier to access on a daily basis instead of the big bottle and i'm just working this and sealing um the moisture and everything that we have been doing throughout the wash day i am then also going to go in with this um castor oil i love this castor oil so i'm just using it um, in my part and on my edges as well and I'm just going to massage it in as well I feel like my edges need it <laughs> my edges really needed it and on this day to style my hair I actually um, just put on a headband and then I braided um, a loose braid very loose braid at the back um, I braided my hair and then after braiding it all the way down I then went on to take a bobby pin and then I pinned it at the back. You guys will see just now. This is just a nice way of keeping your hair tucked away and your ends tucked away. And this is how it looked. So thank you guys so much for watching. I have a lot of other wash days that I'll put up on the screen now. And I'll see you guys next time.